I'm sitting here with Adil Malik, and he's with Clear Step Health, the CEO and co-founder, yes. our founder. Yep. Uh, so Adil, for the listeners here, can you give us your journey? Uh, what brought you up to where you are today? Sure. Um, you know, I spent uh, my academic career really focused on the sciences, basic science, doing medical research um, at Johns Hopkins. And, you know, I, I was really uh, fascinated and compelled by the ability to really study processes and mechanisms that ultimately had an impact on people, right? Discovering new ways to do things, um, therapeutics, new, new mechanisms, cell lines. This was all, all towards the idea of actually improving healthcare. Uh, eventually though, you know, I, I kind of had a shift uh, in the way, in, in what I wanted really, where I, I, while it was still compelling to do the lab work, um, I felt like I wanted to take a step back and work on more macro level uh, problems that healthcare faces. You know, um, doing lab work and basic science research is definitely a noble cause, but many of the things that you study um, affect a, a minority of the overall population. While there are these other kind of macro drivers in healthcare where if you affect change on them, um, for example, like what we're, work, what we're working on, which is consumer access to care, uh, it affects millions and millions of people. Uh, moving the needle by a tiny percentage uh, actually really has a huge impact. So, you know, I had studied finance. I was a finance degree as, uh, or major as well. Uh, and I decided after, you know, a few years of basic science research that I would go into healthcare consulting. Uh, and that's what I did. I worked at uh, Accenture um, in their healthcare practice for a number of years. Uh, and that really did satisfy a lot of my interest in those macro drivers that I was talking about uh, at an industry level. Um, but then I got a bug in me to do it myself uh, and to you know see the problems that we were facing and take innovative approaches to solving them uh, that you just can't do at a big firm. Um, and that's when, you know, kind of assembled my friends, uh, all, all the four co-founders of ClearStep were all good friends from either high school or college. Uh, and each each one of the three that, that, you know, I brought on after, you know, the original two really fulfilled an exact void or an exact kind of uh, perspective that we needed to um, actually build, build a solution that can do what I was saying before, have an effect on millions and millions of people, uh, and for us specifically, on increasing transparency in the care process and in the, in, the, in the process of accessing care, um, and just overall making care more accessible. Uh, yeah. So who would you say, who, who's your primary target for customer? Is it going to be the healthcare institution or the individual physicians? Or yeah, what? so we are, uh, our, our, our model is B to B to C, meaning okay. our customer is the health system. So, yeah. uh, you know, payers as well as providers, but our end user uh, is, is the average person, anyone, literally, um, you know, right now really focused on just the US, but the average American who, you know, comes down with some symptoms or has something that's been going on uh, chronically for a few months, just doesn't know what to do. What's the next step? Should I go to the ER, a specialist, a primary care? Can I use virtual care uh, for, for what's bothering me? So really, you know, we sell and license, configure our solution for existing healthcare institutions, but ultimately the end user is, is just the average person looking so, for care. So are you building AI into your, your processes then? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the, the way ClearStep works is that, you know, you're able to search your symptoms in free text. You can describe the way you would to a doctor up to a paragraph of text. We'll take that and start asking the relevant, the, our AI will ask the relevant uh, follow-up questions. So, you know, you complain of a fever, we'll ask how long, we'll ask if you're experiencing any other symptoms that are common, what are, you know, serious ones we want to rule out. Um, and ultimately, we'll get you to a next step recommendation. So considering everything you've told us, what should you do now? You know, a few years back, uh, is it that the healthcare was unveiling itself on on the internet, they came up with a WebMD and some of these other programs that first started to help with diagnosis. Yeah. And, and then I saw there was a pullback. Sure. 
So today we're fast forwarding and we got a few years under our belt. Um, what are you doing differently to overcome the some of the obstacles that have been there in the past, where people would try to do self diagnosis in sure. in an industry that is heavily regulated? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think while there has been some pushback, the data tells a different story, right? WebMD has insanely high utilization, millions yep. of searches a day. Mm -hmm. uh, the like number one or number two top Google search type of search is for symptoms or diagnoses, health conditions. Uh, so, you know, even despite the regulatory landscape from a consumer lens, there people browse the internet looking for answers to care, yeah, right? Yeah. The answers to problems that they're facing. And, you know, we have to keep the regulatory mindset in our perspective as well and make sure that, you know, for, for us, we aren't trying to diagnose, right? That, that, that's something we aren't trying to tell you that you have a particular disease. What we're trying to do is we're trying to help you get to the right level of care. So considering the acuity of your symptoms, where should you go? And we Excellent. have really high engagement with our tool. We know we're filling a void that exists where WebMD is a bit more like an encyclopedia that you have to navigate and it's more condition or disease focused rather than what's bothering you. Let me help you get to the right point of care where someone that's credentialed to tell you what you have can tell you what they have. We're not trying to take the place of that. We're really a routing mechanism that's uh, a more than anything. Great response. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Adele, um, I uh, if a person wants to find out more about uh, ClearStep Solutions, where were they? Where would they go? ClearStep.health. www.clearstep.health. Uh, you can browse our our business solutions there, or even if you're just you can try out our symptom checker online, um, and you can reach out to us. Excellent, Adele. Thanks for being today's show. Yeah, thanks so much for having me.